Navigare su uno swan, possedere uno swan è stato o è il sogno. Sailing on a swan or owning a swan is or has always been a dream of many sailors. There are few boats that are as iconic as this. Today it's time to present the Swan 55, presented during the fall boat shows. It is a boat with great ambitions, one above all, that of being a blue water, meaning a boat to sail everywhere. Blue water is evocative. We sailors like to think of getting out of the harbour and away to horizons we don't know. What does blue water mean to Nauta Swan? To Nauta, a blue water is a boat with all the characteristics of a real blue water, meaning a lot of protection in the cockpit, large capacity of the fuel tanks, large storage spaces. In short, great capacity to sail long distances, being independent for long cruises. Also, being a fun boat. Our boats are fun to steer, and we don't want to lose this aspect. You know that these are also boats that race, so the hulls are very reactive. But you always have fun when steering. These are not boats for the autopilot. This is a niche in which we are almost alone. Here we are in the interiors of the Swan 55. The layout has been studied to step out of the boxes of traditional layouts with three cabins and two heads and with the owner's cabin at the bow and two guests aft. Layouts that is classic on almost every boat of this size. Here, a midship, there is a large cabin with a double bed, which, for some markets, such as the American one, can be dedicated to the owner. From here, it can be considered his apartment, in which there is also the possibility to develop an office. In this case, the master cabin is at the bow, the guest cabin amidship. The head with the entrance both from the master cabin and the living area. VIP cabin aft with another head and a versatile crew quarter behind the kitchen. Obviously, the owners can ask for additional changes, but the boat has been thought out so that it's possible to change the layout. How do you manage to satisfy owners all around the world? By working a lot on development and modularity, both in the cockpit and in the interiors. As you said, we sell boats all over the world. We have regional directors that cover the whole globe from New Zealand to Australia, to South and North America, so the entire world. There are countries, such as Japan, in which the needs are different compared to the Mediterranean. We really work this off. On deck, we work on the modular protection. And on this layout that we introduced on the 58-footer, with these two tables that have many functions, such as a sun deck, a huge dining table on which up to 11 guests can seat. Then there is the new stern with this function that doubles the dimensions of the beach area. For example, the beach club is something that customers ask us to enrich, especially the clients of the Mediterranean and the Caribbean. And then the interiors. Today, I think this is one of the only boats that proposes this modular layout that can go from two to four cabins, in which the master cabin becomes a suite that on a maxi is not even present. And pay attention to everything that is done without changing the structure, implants and engineering. We spend a lot of hours engineering the boat, and so one of the challenges is engineering the boat so that all variations do not change what's behind. The cabin situated aft of the kitchen is another versatile space that can change its usage. In this case, there is a fridge, a washing machine and a bed for the crew. As a request of some markets, there is the possibility of opening an entrance aft so that the skipper can enter his quarters without passing in the dinette, where there is also the owner with his guests. This is a very practical solution because the skipper is at the stern and not at the bow, far from the main area of the boat. And here we are in the master cabin. The bed is very large and accessible also from the sides, as it is on prestigious boats. As we already mentioned, it can be transformed into an apartment. In the kitchen, they opt to divide the countertop with the sinks from the hobs. 
it's an equipped kitchen with different fridges and a large storage space that can also become an icebox. This is one detail where you can see all the quality and willingness of Nauta Swan to do the excellent things. Look at the bending of this laminated wood and the composition of this cabinet. Truly unique. Una grande attenzione dedicata agli impianti come su A great attention has been given to implants as on all blue water boats. The bilge is quite deep. Underneath there are the tanks. The engine is a 110 horsepower Yanmar engine, also positioned low enough to lower the center of gravity. The implants are easily accessible to facilitate those ship owners who want to sail solo. quegli armatori che vogliono navigare da soli. What does Finland bring inside your boats? Questa è una bella domanda. Io ormai sono 10 anni che lavoro per questa azienda e devo dire che This is a wonderful question. I have been working for this company for 10 years now. Finland for us is the greatest challenge. We think it's a wonderful place and it is so because Finns have an attitude towards life that leads them to work as a form of religion. So the way that they apply themselves to what they do is total. When they work, they concentrate on what they do, they take their time, and the company allows them to do so. Being able to afford somewhat higher prices, we can afford to keep their way of working. We can recognize this in uncultivated details, the hardwoods, but especially in everything you don't see. We always say that the most beautiful part of a swan is what you don't see, which is the way they wire and all the work that, well, you know better than I do, turns into actual quality, and not just a perceived one. Finland is a fairy world that then translates into quality above any other. Un piano velico ben strudiato, fiocco a prua con le rotaie nella esatta. There is a well studied sail plan. Jib at the bow with the tracks in the exact position wanted by German Frez, and not in that to adapt to the shape of the deck house. The furling is below deck, and this is a tri sail with a lock and a hydraulic tensioner at the bottom to have a nice shape navigating close hauled. This is a self tacking tri sail. Also, the drum furler of the Code Zero can be below deck to have a clean aesthetic and not have obstacles. There is a passing mast and the mainsail is a traditional full-battened one. La randa è una vela tradizionale full-battened. Grande versatilità di funzioni anche in There is a lot of versatility also in the cockpit. The choice of having a table allows for a passage. In addition, the tables can lower down and these seats can become sun pads. Which are the main features of these last-generation hulls? I'd say they are wonderful. German demonstrates an incredible freshness of mind. He managed to renew himself. As you know, hulls develop in specific moments. There is not a continuous evolution. There are some moments that declare a snap. He started with a 115-footer, so now it has designed many boats with these hulls. The main feature of these hulls is not to heal more than 20 degrees. That is, these hulls are optimized to navigate with a maximum healing angle of 20 degrees. It sounds like a platitude, but it changes your life. At 20 degrees, the boat is perfectly livable. If you look at the images of the hull healing at 20 degrees, you'll see it's perfectly symmetric. So maximum waterline length, maximum power, and minimum wet surface, because it's like two holes coupled. It heals and bends on that. The boat is very soft and has much less weight in the keel. Part of the writing is given to the shape of the boat, and this makes the boat much more livable. It responds much sooner. It reacts in advance of the gust of wind. It accelerates before healing, and of course, you don't have to wait for the keel to start working. And on board, there is a family enjoying the boat, who cooks below deck, who sleeps, who goes to the bathroom. 20 degrees is nothing. 20 gradi e niente. Ed eccoci finalmente al timone dello Swan 55. So here we are at the helm of the Swan 55. As you can see, there are two wheels and two rudders. It steers well and is sensitive. The wind blows at around 10 knots. We are not too much closed hauled. We try to gain a little speed, easily exceeding 6 knots. Right now we're at 6.8 knots. Let me just tell you about the angle of the apparent wind, 48 degrees. You have to look for speed. 
It is a hull with a great performance, but obviously it is not a lightweight boat. We are still on a cruising sailboat. So, Vani, how is it in this sea? Well, I've just tested it in Finland with more severe conditions, so this is the first time in this weather. I confirm to you what I was telling you before. This is a boat that, at the helm, you can enjoy as if it were a much lighter boat, despite the fact that we have a very small jib, because this is a jib that is born self-tacking, but the boat makes its numbers. Let's tell the numbers. 37 degrees with the apparent wind, 9 knots of wind and six knots of speed. Here we are with the Jenica. The feelings are good. There's not much wind. Actually, it dropped compared to when sailing closed hauled. We're at about eight knots of wind and we're exceeding six knots of speed. Pronunciare la parola swan per un velista ha qualcosa di magico, lo abbiamo detto anche all'inizio. Saying swan for a sailor is something magic, we already told you at the beginning of the video. They were the first boats with which one could deal with absolutely important sailing from the moment they left the shipyard. It is no coincidence that one of the first yachts considered maxi and suitable for round-the-world sailing was the Swan 55 Turanga, which participated in the round-the-world when it was called Whitbread round-the-world race. Today, we hopped on board the Swan 55 in the Gulf of Thalonica. It was not an epic day for the wind, but it was pleasant and allowed us to discover a boat, and we sensed it even beforehand. And that was really interesting.